someone want to get married? Uh, because they're pregnant. Because they're pregnant? Why do kids with gay parents get higher school grades? A major study has found that children with same-sex parents achieve higher grades at school and are more likely to go on to university. So, what's their secret? And how can it be squared with statements like this? There is no such thing as an intact household when you are talking about a child being raised by same-sex parents. They are going to arrive in that household through death, divorce, abandonment, or third-party reproduction. Children suffer, not just emotionally, but they're at higher risks for social and economic and physical um, negative outcomes when they're subjected to um, those four things. The other side's studies that prove that there's no difference or no harm is so, you know, has been so ubiquitously spread um, that I say, look, how could it be that suddenly there's no harm when they're raised within a same-sex-headed household? The answer is buried in her question. Studies, which she delightfully air quotes away, point to a beautiful underlying reason that the children of same-sex parents do so well, despite the stigma they suffer. Usually about once during my average day at school, somebody walks up to me when I'm doing anything and says, how come you don't have a dad? Sometimes uh, if people find out they can use this against you, it's really hard to make sure to tell the right people and not to not tell the right people. When schools try to help by teaching about different family structures, there can be resistance. And there were a group of parents in various different positions around the school blocking the pavement. So uh, my deputy head went out and had to actually asked them to move to allow parents to bring in their children and they were harassing people. If the protesters think they can hide the existence of same-sex parents, they may be underestimating today's kids. Do you think anybody should be able to get married if they want to? Yes. Uh, how come? Well, because if they want to, they should be able to. Would you want to get married? Um, not really. <laughs> how come? Because, um, when you get married, um, the other person is entitled entitled to any money um, the other person has. Do you think anybody should be able to get married? If you're old enough. Oh, very wise. Uh, do you want to get married? Yes. When? When I'm 30. High-profile parents like Olympic diver Tom Daly and Oscar-winning writer Dustin Lance Black have helped break down the stigma. Greatest moment of your life winning the World Championships or getting your son? Without a doubt, our son. Yeah. So. I've never won a World Championship. Well, I you won know. an Oscar. Yeah. That's a good comparison. Yeah, but that was so stressful. It was definitely the son. The son's like pure joy. There's nothing that has made us happier I like feel more love. As medical advances enable more people to have biological children, adoption is declining among traditional families. At the same time, there is a rise in adoption among same-sex parents, who also adopt more of the children considered difficult to place, such as those with health problems, older children, and siblings who should stay together. These children would otherwise face a very difficult future in care. Carlos is 14, Lupe is 13, Maria is 12, Selena is 10, Nasa is 9, and Max is 7. It's a full house. Yeah. Yes, it is. <laughs> when we saw them, we just instantly fell in yeah, love with them, that's... even though there were six, a yeah, little few more yeah. than what we originally intended. What was it like for you guys when you met Steve and Rob for the first time? Were you guys nervous? I thought we could like get like split apart. I, th I thought we would never get to see my little siblings. Are you happy that you guys got to stay together? Yeah. Mm -hmm. When they asked us what type of baby we wanted, we said we don't care about race, we don't care about anything. It was found in a park and it was, it was the coldest day San Antonio had had in years. He arrived to us in a diaper and a, and one of those. Uh, like a white beater yeah, tank, a tank top. Yeah, tank top and a blanket. And 
that's it. He was um, six days old and... Skinny. Skinny and filthy. It was one month later, then we get another call. Yolanda calls again, we have a little girl for you. Would you like her? And, Yay, a little girl. We got a phone call. Yolanda called and she was like, I made a mistake. I didn't, I didn't realize there was a rule that said you couldn't have more than two children in your home under 18 months old that aren't siblings. You need to give one up today. So pick one that we can come pick up by the end of the day. Oh, so we were so mad at so awful. angry and then hurt. And how do you upset. make that decision? I said, we can afford three children. I said, we mm -hmm. have the time for three children. Yeah, what we, is the big we can do it. Which case is going to be most likely to adopt? That's how we right. tried to make our decision. Who would have the most difficult time getting adopted? Despite often arriving from difficulty and disadvantage, children of same-sex families also score higher on general health and family cohesion. This is, of course, on average. Same-sex families have no fundamental advantage. Their secret only helps them avoid certain potholes. But you can see why some find the studies so hard to stomach. The Alliance Defending Freedom spends millions defending traditional families. In fact, they encourage the one big disadvantage of same-sex families. Stigma. So the next question is from G G Jesus MT. G S U S Jesus. Jesus is asking us a question. So well, Jesus has asked, "What's the most difficult thing about being same-sex dads?" Now, being same-sex dads does have its challenges and yeah. stereotypes, and yeah. not not everybody was on board right away. No, but no. now since in the streets having Robbie Ray and pushing him around in his pram, it has been like all stereotypes are race. Everyone just is so happy for us and seeing us as a family and the love that we share. Our son is a, by far will ever be the best thing in our lives. Like there's nothing that has made us happier, I like feel more love. Tom's story holds clues to the rather joyful and sometimes comical reason for the success of children from same-sex families. They cannot have children by accident. To have a child, they must invest a lot of time and often money. They must really, really want the child. As for the stigma, same-sex parents are well-placed to help children overcome difficulties and find their place in the world. Studies have crunched the numbers on over a million children, and it turns out that the special source is quite simple. They are going to arrive in that household through death, divorce, abandonment. And the love they receive will change everything. We got a call basically saying, look, we have a kid that needs a place to stay. Are you willing to adopt this kid? And we had to give a yes or no answer right then without seeing the kid, without knowing anything other than his age and that he was healthy. So we basically looked at each other and we said, okay. yeah. When we go to meet him, he's in the back seat uh, of this minivan and we both get out of the car and me and Matt are just, like super nervous and he's sitting in the back seat where you can see him through the windshield and he looks up at us and he just gets this big smile and he smiles. The second we walked around that van and connected eyes with him and he just burst into that giant smile yeah. it was like immediately we had fallen in love with this kid. He just put his arms out and hugged me so tight as full of of love that I was, my heart was still kind of broken at the same time because I just, I realized like, this is a beginning that this kid has already lived. He's already been through this. And what does he come with? Literally a box that's not even half full of belongings. And it had a couple pairs of shorts, yeah. a couple t-shirts and two little toys. Our instinct is just to like scoop this kid up and defend him from everything and give him everything that we can. And that's kind of how I knew that there was no way in hell and we were letting this kid go. Probably like late elementary school, I had the realization that it wasn't really a normal thing and that I didn't know other people with the same kind of family structure. Everybody had straight parents or single parents, but I didn't know anybody who had gay parents as well. I think the hurtful thing to me is that I would have friends and their parents wouldn't want me um, necessarily spending time with them or they wouldn't want their kids to come over to my house, especially not for sleepovers because, because I had gay dads. And what's funny about that is as soon as their parents really got to know me and I got to spend a lot of time like over at their houses instead, 
they changed their minds and they opened up their hearts and I'm really glad that that was the case for me. And also in elementary school, I did get bullied a little bit when people started, I guess, finding out about me having gay parents. But what's funny is later on, the most of the people who bullied me, or at least a few of the people who bullied me, came back to apologize, realizing that they had been pretty lame. Honestly, nowadays, is there really such thing as an old school male and female role? I was so lucky. I grew up with like parents who was a little bit of everything. I was so happy that my place actually became a safe haven for most of them. It was a place where you could explore being whoever you wanted to be because you know, we were so open-minded about everyone. And I actually had friends who came out to me because of that, because they, they saw that it was possible to be anything but the norm. And it was possible to not having to be one box. Let's go off the stigma around same-sex parents and catch up with our flippered friends. Same-sex penguin couples have been observed in the wild for at least a hundred years. These two ladies in London are so good at parenting, the zookeepers gave them a foster chick last month. And these Aussie dads, Sven and Magic, have nurtured baby Svenjik into a thriving teen. Skip and Ping have been watching over their eggs since July, taking turns tucking it under their bellies. We are thinking they could be great care parents, so we are crossing our fingers for a, a cute little rainbow penguin. And if you're wondering what to watch next... Vertical forests are springing up around the world. We'll show the most impressive examples, why they are the future of all our cities, and how they compare to this. You can watch now. The link's in the description.